Growing up as a female in the South, you're taught to be polite, taught to listen, taught to respect your elders. But I'm over wanting approval. That got me nowhere. My way is the only way I can do it, and do it with a trust in something bigger. There are many segments of my life, you know? I could be meeting with a collector and I could have a kid puke in the back of the car. One of the most uh, renowned female contemporary artists said that an artist couldn't be a mother and be an artist at the same time. And I remember I was just so offended. That's not true. Not at all. I don't think that I would have had the confidence to step out publicly as an artist and to accept the fact that I was an artist if it wasn't for my journey into motherhood. I had triplets nine years ago and they were born severely premature. And so I was, you know, first time parent, young parent, caretaking just constantly. We were doing therapies, we were seeing specialists. I'd kind of been in the house for two years. My husband gave me a ceramic wheel for Christmas. And like, I opened it up and I wanted to cry talking about it now, but it was like, just this, take some time for yourself, Lucy. So I put it in the basement. I waited on nap time and I waited on them to go to bed. I could process while I was caring for them, what am I gonna do? This is what I wanna to try to do today. I'm just peaceful when I'm at work with myself and my hands and my ideas. It feels natural to me to paint and to experiment. You get to process through thoughts, not only in what piece you're making, but through other things going on in your life. It's deeper, it's bigger, it's spirit work. I look back at life and I realized that art always called to me, but it wasn't until my 30s that I really accepted it. I kept my work hidden. I would tell people in my house that somebody else did it, I bought it. Because I was just so scared of judgment or criticism and it was bullshit. I should have owned it. If you want to make art, you're supposed to make art. Uh, institutional learning did not give me confidence. School was so hard for me. I just, I had a hard time writing. I'm dyslexic, uh, had a hard time computing. I've got some sort of math thing. I struggle with uh, testing. I don't know that an education in art would have done me any favors. I think that I would have pleased because I had not gotten to the point in my life where I accepted that I too can speak and do things my way. Not everybody's supposed to like you. I've been through much harder things than putting my art out for the public. I've watched my son go into cardiac arrest for 18 minutes and then bring him back with a shot of adrenaline. You go through things like that and it just doesn't matter anymore. Judgment doesn't matter. Fear doesn't matter. You just don't realize till you look back at it that, man, I don't know if I was okay then. You know, that was really, really hard, but you change and you, you come out a different person. And instead of saying, hey, I'm a different person, what happened? I think you say, hey, I'm a different person. Thank God. I'm trying to learn, what is my work telling me, you know? I started thinking about where women are in the world and how we've worked to get here and what our roles are and what the roles are for me. I want to be respected for my work and my family. That's been a struggle for me. It's not cured yet. I want my daughters to see me work endlessly hard. It's something. I am not just their mother. It's, it's playing out in every piece that I'm doing now. I'm not sure what's happening, but I think that it's, I'm a vessel and I'm just a medium for something else and I've just got to keep going.